Hi everyone and welcome to the A-Team's Finger Puppet Management presentation. Now that you got a look into our exciting trailer, I'm going to introduce you to the A-Team. First up is me, Brianna, and I'm our production manager. What I do is I supervise the organization and distribution of the production budget, crew, and equipment and scheduling. Second, we have Tino, and he is our director. He plays a large role in our casting, script revisions, shot composing, and editing. And third, we have Layla, and she's our script manager. Layla likes to make sure that the dialogue corresponds with the script. She also takes logging notes that are essential in the post-production editing process. So now we have our storyline. And the storyline is about three friends, Obi, Anna, and Jar Jar, and they have all decided to go in and open a bar together. The storyline will play on each one coming from a different background and having very different opinions on how to manage this bar. As customers start to come through the doors, they will attempt to solve issues as they arise. Through a series of mishaps, the trio will attempt to convince each other while their method of management will work better than the others. They will need to work together to figure out what styles work best for them, the employees, and the bar. And now we have our setting. The setting is going to take place in a small town called Barville. The town is quite excited about this because it's the first bar to ever open here. The TV show is going to take place inside the newly opened bar. And now we have our target audience. We expect our audience will be between the ages of 16 to 45 due to the comedic and dramatic approach of the show. We are guessing a broad range of people will enjoy the show because it's going to come from a very funny and dramatic point of view that can relate to a lot of different people. In our series of episodes, we have many different management concepts. All these different management concepts were taken from the book and we made sure to tie them into each episode. So here is a few of the management concepts that we have in our episodes. We have organizational structure, teamwork, planning, directing, individual decision making, group decision making, and a lot of ethics. And now we have our cast of characters, which I think is one of the most important parts of the series because each character has such a diverse role and personality. First up, we have Jar Jar Bin. He has a very silly demeanor and has a hard time leading others. He tends to be buddy-buddy with others and is very lenient and allows considerable self-regulation. Appearance-wise, Jar Jar has big green eyes that resemble a cartoon character. He has blonde hair that sticks out in every which direction, and he is very disorganized and that shows in his appearance. He often wears mismatched clothes and doesn't dress very professional. 
But since they work in a bar, he's able to get away with it most of the time. Second, we have Anna Skye. When you think of Anna Skye, you think of that typical mean manager. Anna is loud and expects everybody to obey him. He's very quick to judge and does not like to take no for an answer. He is highly organized, which is a very good thing for a manager. But he doesn't like to work well in groups and he tends to micromanage a lot. He doesn't shy away from how he thinks things should be done and he makes sure to get everything accomplished. Appearance wise, he is a very serious demeanor and he wears all black. He has black hair and his eyes are so brown that they're almost black as well. He dresses very professionally in suits and is always polished to perfection. Sometimes his suits suits stand out in the bar, but since it is Anna, it kind of fits with him. And next we have Obi Ken. Obi seeks balance between work and play. He is demanding and responsive, but is able to communicate with others in a very constructive way. He realizes that sometimes in order to lead, you must show the way. Obi is able to easily have others rally behind him, which is a very good trait for being a good leader. Appearance-wise, he has a brown afro, but he still keeps it up kept. He has warm brown eyes that show he is friendly and approachable, and he often finds balance in clothing between the other two managers. He usually wears jeans and a dress shirt, which is a very good balance for a bar. Um, I think, in my opinion, that Obi is the best manager just because he is very balanced between the other two very different personalities. Episode number one of our TV show, the setting is the team getting ready for opening day. They've already interviewed a couple of bartenders. The three main characters, Jar Jar, Anna, and Obi, are arguing over who they want to hire. Each one of them being stubborn has their own opinion on who they think would be the best fit. Some of them are basing their choices on who they like rather than who would be a good business fit. Opening day is quickly approaching and the team can't seem to make a decision. To af avoid any further delays, the team compromises by each picking one bartender of their choice and then as a group hiring a helper, which her name is BB. In episode number two, a special event is coming up. Someone's booked a bar for a large birthday party. Now the three managers all have to come together to come up with a way to make this a successful event. The key concepts that we tied into this episode were planning and organization and teamwork. Now the managers, they all had a different approach on how to plan this event and how to go about making it a good one. A lot of issues arise when some of the servers call out sick. Now what will the team do to fix the issue at hand? In this episode, the managers are up for an important lesson. Get a little heated in episode number three when one of the managers, Jar Jar, finds out that one of their employees has been stealing liquor from the bar. He's been giving customers free drinks some nights. Basically, he's been stealing. Now, Jar Jar, being the character that he is, he struggles between not wanting to be a bad guy and also doing the right thing. In this episode, he faces an ethical dilemma of whether or not he should fire the employee or if he should just reprimand them. And also, how does he tell the rest of the team? The team ends up finding out anyway and decides to take revenge by forcing Jar Jar to fire the employee. 
In this episode, the managers realize that they need to create a code of ethics to help them deal with these types of issues if they arise in the future. The setting in episode number four is about two months in since the bar has been open. Everything seems to be going okay. No issues have been arising. One of the managers, Obi Ken, notices that all of the workers have been coming to him whenever they have any kind of issue. The issues range anywhere from fixing their work schedules or asking to help with a customer. He asks these employees why only do they come to him for help when there's two other managers and they tell him Jar Jar's too silly and Anna's too mean. This makes Obi frustrated, always having to be the balancer between the managers. He asks them to help out more. Now Anna and Jar Jar have their problems of their own. They both face them head on. They realize their personalities may be too extreme for a management position and they work on how, trying to figure out how they can fix this. In this episode, the characters learn a lot about leadership. In episode number five, the final episode, some conflict arises. Another bar is opening up down the street and the managers are facing some serious competition. In this episode, they try to figure out ways to keep the business at their bar going well, getting new customers to come in. The managers and BB, the helper, have to start planning and making decisions that will bring them the most profit. BB has the idea to have themed parties. Uh, for example, Friday night is a tropical night. They have to plan the finances in order to design this tropical theme. They have to make sure they have tropical drinks on the menu. A lot goes into these types of things. They realize they all have to come together as a group to make decisions about how this is going to work. Uh, some key concepts in this episode are group decision making. The conclusion that our group came to about management is that it's hard work, but it's definitely rewarding. Many concepts go into being a good manager. There are many different types of managers too. For example, in our TV show, one of our managers is very permissive and a dictator. It is interesting to learn about the different traits of managers and what makes them good ones. This also helps us on knowing how to handle a manager in our workplace. Doing these assignments helps you learn a lot about management in ways you normally wouldn't think of. We've learned how to make group decisions and we have learned structures of organizations, also how to act ethical, and many, many more concepts. This has really shown us how important and valuable teamwork is. Overall, we all feel that we did a really great job and are proud of what we have accomplished so far. We've learned a lot about management in a very different and fun way. We'd never get this kind of experience had we just learned out of reading from a book. Working in a group has taught us many things such as teamwork, decision making, and the importance of organization. We've all learned how to tie in management concepts into the real world. Having the opportunity to take this course and be able to re relate real world examples to the book will help us remember these concepts in the future. Throughout the project, we found that group work is never easy. Adding the geographic distance to the mix and it becomes a lot harder. However, in the world we live in today, technology has changed the landscape for managers. And as managers, we must all adapt. Setting goals, using time effectively, and using collaborative tools are all skills that we have been using throughout this group project.